On Thursday, the 28th of October 2010, I visited the Werribee Open Range Zoo, located in Werribee, a suburb lying 32 kilometres southwest of Melbourne, Victoria in Australia. This zoo has exhibits from all around the world but has an emphasis on Africa. To my delight, the safari bus which takes people around the zoo was a vehicle I did not even know existed. A left-hand drive tour bus with a very unique method of loading passengers. In this video, you'll see several trips arriving and departing from the main bus stop before we board a bus for a very brief overview of the zoo, returning after a round trip back to the main bus stop.
about the delays. We're just running a few minutes late just trying to get everybody sorted. Welcome to the safari tour at Werribee's Open Range. My name's Swiss Doors are closing up because they do close up with a, a bit of a, a bang. Now once those doors are closed up we'll get going. I'm going to tell you a bit about the animals as we're driving around but if anyone's got any questions just feel free to yell out that way you guys get to find out what you'd like to know about the animals. There we go. Now, if your window is closed and you want it open, some of them, they get a bit sticky from all the, the bumps and the dust around. Uh, they don't stop once they stay. Yeah. 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 vegetation of this area. Of course, Wareham is on an area called the Western Basalt Plain. Oh, yeah. 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 That is called a bison and that's what we've got here. Our little herd of bison. Hunting campaign. By the early 1900s, there was only something like 2,000 So as I said, their other name is Black Buck and that is because of the male. So about this time last year... Oh, I'm going to put dust all over the Slow down, you hooligans. <laughs> yes, I might make him wash the dust. As well, usually in here there is another, a herd of, another type of antelope called kudu but they are very very good at hiding in the shadows of the trees so sometimes we don't see them but we'll just have a little look amongst the trees while we're just waiting for John to go past
type of rhino that we have here at Werribee. There's a bit of action down the back there, so just also keep your eye on those rhinos down the back. The southern white rhino. And as you can see, their name has absolutely nothing to do with their colour. They're grey, the same colour as all rhino. All sorts of silly myths about rhinoceros horn having fantastic medicinal and aphrodisiac properties, which are completely untrue. Rhinoceros horn is made out of a protein called keratin. It is basically really densely compact in hair fibres. You can actually see on those two there, just down the base of their horn, the little hair fibres. So if you live in a big group, then hopefully someone will be watching out for predators. So this one is for it's even longer. I'm often told I've got beauty sleep. Hmm? I'm often told I've got beauty sleep. No, you've got beauty exhibits down there but it is a really nice walk. Lots of water birds down there. A lot of the water birds have babies at the moment and things like that that live in there as well. Alright so I will just start those doors opening up so obviously once i do tell you it's okay to get off you can't get back through those little brown doors there anymore so once you're down on the ground turn right head towards turn left again and follow the kangaroos that'll take you up to the volcanic plains area if you want to do the pool of the we take a final look at our safari bus because it will soon become redundant In 2012, two years from the date of filming, a new type of bus would be introduced, consisting of a bus prime mover towing up to three trailers, which will increase the passenger loading capacity over today's safari bus.